Where can you go specifically for help when you're in a mental health crisis? Okay, so when you're in that situation, you've got lots of different options. So you might, if you're, if you're already known to a mental health service, you might want to go to a community mental health team. And if you've got a key worker or a link worker, get in touch with them. And they might be able to uh, start the process off in terms of sorting you out. You might also approach something called a crisis team. Now these are specific teams that are designed ideally to be around 24 seven to deal with people in crisis and get them the help that they need. There's the option of going to your GP. Now they may or may not be able to help you entirely, but certainly they'll be able to send you in the right direction and put you in touch with the right people as well. And there is the backup of A&E. A&E will be able to deal with any physical problems or physical injuries or you know harm that you've come to, as well as potentially getting you in touch with the right service. And likewise, there's always online and helpline services. So for instance, like Samaritans, uh, like the Mind Helpline, like NHS 111. And what would you recommend to keep yourself maybe safe until you reach that source of help? One thing that you've got to remember is when you're going through a crisis, things are literally spiraling out of control. And you've got to try and keep your cool and try and stay calm. Remember that the majority of people that experience a mental health crisis get through it. And you can get through it and you will get through it, even though it doesn't feel like that at the time. If you've had a crisis before and you've managed to get through it, remember that strength. Remember what happened last time and focus on that. And, and above all, just speak up and get in touch with someone. And if you can't get the help you need, keep knocking, keep asking for it and keep seeking it out.